Nation of Israel, the 12 tribes of Israel. Right? It's consistent with so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians. Right? So we have to shout because we got demons, alright? This is exactly what that music is. Nothing but demons, alright? Folly. Yep. And I, I just want to make a quick statement, you know, it's good to say, Bali is set in great dignity. So you're going to have a lot of, you know, basically wicked Israelites stopping and being entertained by a bunch of drums versus trying to see how they can uh, seek salvation and seek deliverance out of this kingdom. But see, Jake's plan said it's not to seek deliverance or seek the Lord, it's how to become more comfortable in a society that's getting ready to crumble, man. And in the midst of decay right now. Destroy this place. Right, you'll have more people stop dancing and listening to this music inside of us, but they won't stop and listen to the word of the Lord. We showed you the forces of our people. Now, real quick, second Nazareth chapter 1, verse 5. Go thy way and show my people their sinful deeds and their children their wickedness. Right, that's what we're doing. We're showing you your wickedness because all you people are, are right now are in a wicked state of mind, right? You're breaking all kinds of commandments. Right, defiling your body with cigarette smoke, weed, right, defiling your body with uh, unclean foods. Right, unclean doctrines. Yep, yeah, unclean doctrines, all right? Not being a man, all right? Trimming up your beard. If you can grow a beard, you should be having, you should have a beard on your face. It's a, it's a symbol of manliness, all right? Being a feminine bitches, all right? You women being whores, sluts. It says, go my way and show my people their sinful deeds and their children their wickedness which they have done against me yep. that they may tell their children's children. Yep. So we're telling you, all right, we're proclaiming to you that you're going off. That's our job. We're not supposed to do it nicely, all right? We rebuke you and powerfully, all right? You always depend on your demons from heaven. Because if we don't tell you the, your, your sins and your transgressions, all right, the blood's on our hands, all right? We've got to do it boldly. We've got to do it sternly. People is foolish, they have not known me. They are saddest children. Right. And they have none understanding. Yeah, these the two daughters have no understanding, right? You got Esau that's that's you know doing more out there than fucking Jake, man. When it comes to uh the race riots that are that are about to come, it's coming to the the, the uh, shortage of food, the short the famines. Esau's doing more than Jake's trying to do. You know, they ain't preparing their minds. Like they should be. Right, he's all doomed, so he, you know, no matter what he does, it's not going to save him. But they're doing more than what Jake is supposed to be doing. You know, Jake should be preparing their mind. Right, getting ready for, for the, for the uh, economic collapse, right? And the calamities that are about to befall, uh, befall America. The only way you can get saved from the calamities is through the word. Right, coming back to Yahweh Shimon Shai. Which our people are ignorantly not doing. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. That's right, they're wise to do evil. It's, it's, it is set greatly in their mind to, easily, to do evil, and they, they, they will do it easily, right? They have no problem doing wickedness. They have no problem sleeping with another man's wife, right? They have no problem, you know, committing adultery, right? Being um, wicked to their brethren, all right? Yeah, this, that, you got a saying, it goes, it goes like this, they're in too deep, you know? You got a saying, I'm in, too, I'm in too deep to come back now. That's basically Israelites, man. Two thirds of wicked Israelites, they're in too deep. That's why we're, we're mainly out here with the elect, man. Those that actually are seeking the Lord and want to, you know, find the truth. You know, we're not out here for everybody, all right? The prophets weren't sent to everybody. They were sent out to the masses, okay? But ultimately, they were there to get the elect, man. That's why the Lord always chose certain men to do certain tasks. And nothing's changed, you know? Nothing's ever, nothing, nothing, nothing's changed. So you're gonna have a delivered, but you're also gonna have a, a destroyed. You're gonna have uh, the men of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Then you're gonna have basically the, you know, the false prophets. So we're we're only out here to gain the ones who the Lord wants to redeem, and we have nothing to do with it. It's gonna be nothing that we can do to. to
to say that man. That's why it's good to tell you how one water, you no, know, one plants a seed, but it's the Lord who gives the increase. Not only can the Lord increase a man, but the Lord can decrease a man. The Lord can take away, man. The Lord can take away what you already have, and that's a scary thought, you know, to think of, but that's why we gotta pray and, and, and consistently maintain and endure in the truth, man. And, and, and continue to, 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 to rehearse what we've learned, man. Because if you ain't using your talents wisely, the Lord is just gonna strip you and give it to another man who's more uh, deserving of your talent. That's why you gotta consistently be on your watch. You gotta be in a mindset and, and be ready to, to, to die for this thing, man. That's why we come out every week, because we know we gotta put our lives on the line, we gotta bring in the elect, and hopefully in doing so, we're also able to maintain our salvation. Be delivered up out of here. You know? And I don't know if I'm an elect man, but I'm gonna continue to stay strong as long as the Lord permits me. And that's another thing, you gotta humble yourself. You gotta realize that all the knowledge and truth that any of us have is because of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, starting with our elders, man. And I didn't obtain this knowledge by myself. And I only know what the Lord has uh, willingly given me. Come to GMS and then fall out and, and cause all kind of confusion. How much more is a woman gonna do? You know, you got guys that that's talk, talking about you know, uh, you know GMS this and that, and then the next thing you know, they're freaking committing adultery with the, with the, with the brother. So why would you bring in a woman who's even a weaker vessel that Satan's gonna attack even more so? It causes all kinds of confusion. So we're looking for devout men, right? Willing to give up their lives for this thing. Jeremiah 5 and 1, Grow ye, run ye to and fro through the streets of Jerusalem, and see now, and know, and seek in the broad places thereof, if ye can find a man, if there be any that executed judgment, that seeketh the truth, and I will pardon it. Yeah. We are so, here looking for a man that's looking for the truth. Exactly. Yeah. We ain't looking for a man that's out there to fucking get, uh, get a hit record, all right? That's trying to get, uh, you know, a couple minutes of fame. A lot yeah. of guys are doing this for, 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 for fame's sake, you know? Yeah, a lot of these guys are basically uh, uh, have the appearance of angels, man, or of godly men, but they're not godly men. They're not even sincere in their own mind. It's all a fucking game. It's a show to these guys, man. We're not out here to put on a show. You know? Anything that we do, it's in, uh, a sincerity, man. All right? No matter how, how stressed out... I might be, or this brother might be, man. We're, we're all stressed the fuck out, man. We want this kingdom to be fucking taken out the way already, man. But at the same time, we can't haste above our maker. Not to be too comfortable, right? Everything's gotta be done in moderation, and we gotta have a sincere mind and spirit. If you don't have a sincere mind and spirit, the Lord is gonna cast you out of his mouth, man. He's gonna, excuse me, he's gonna spew you out of his mouth. Pursuing the revelation of the third chapter. But, uh, uh, well, but yeah, yeah, but real quick, you know, should I actually put it on the same? Give up and, and endure the hardships that's that you're getting ready to face, right? If you don't think you can handle the hardships 
coming in. It's not an easy path, all right? That's something you're gonna realize when you start coming in and start, you know, following the commandments. When you start following the commandments, you start, you know, living righteously, all right? You're gonna realize that it's it's hard, all right? So if you're not willing to take that that hardship, then don't don't even bother, all right? Like the scripture says, it's better for you have not to know than have done. So we don't want no weak ass niggas in this in, in GMS, all right? We don't want no bullshit, you know, people trying to uh, commit like, like, or bring up their own doctrines or trying to say something against the elders, all right? You know, if you're gonna learn from the elders, all right, then you stay underneath the elders, you learn from what they from what they learned, all right? And from what they know. You don't go off and make your own doctrine. Or start listening to General Yahan, or start listening to uh the 24 fucking whatever that dude's name is. Whatever the fucking street he's on. Bro, he's on fucking 66 fucking street, you know? Yeah, he's on fucking Sesame Street. Fuck. He's on Satan Street, alright? Fucking 666 Boulevard, I don't know, alright? But yeah, you then start listening to these guys and that guy, and then you're starting to make your own dodge, alright? Alright, the elders at GMS are learning men, alright? They have many years' experience in this thing. Yeah, and then, and, then, and then here's the thing. Then you got guys that basically they have they got pumped up, you know, they got kicked out of the camp, you know, for whatever reason. But then instead of actually just admitting that whatever fault that they done was wrong and continuing, they what the fuck up, man? Then they come against the elders, how they did this to them, they did that to them, and this is this is wrong, man. Shut the fuck up, man. Be a man. If you were wrong, you were wrong. You gotta you gotta shake that off, and you need them. You need to do this for you. Essentially, you need to be concerned with your own life. The elders can't save you, man. They're only doing what they were set up in the spirit to do. If you got kicked out of the camp, it's a good reason. All right? It's a good reason. But if you're an elect man, you ain't gonna have the mentality of well, screw the elders. No, you're gonna actually continue, man. You're gonna admit your faults, you're gonna accept them, and you're gonna just keep pushing the word into the narrative. You know? True sake. Wait to the 